I'm Dominic Stevens. The latest GDP data has showed that the New Zealand economy was ticking over reasonably nicely in the December quarter of 2015. GDP growth was 0.9%, while there was big weakness observed in the agriculture and mining sectors as those firms deal with falling global prices. That was offset by strength in retailing, thanks to tourism and population growth, construction, thanks to house building in Auckland, and across many services in the economy. Actually, that dichotomy between weakness in primary industries and strength in services is something that's been observed in many countries around the world and perhaps reflects changing global consumption patterns. Now, in New Zealand, annual GDP growth was 2.3%, which sounds impressive until you consider that that's actually a slowdown from 3.7% in 2014 and until you consider that population growth is almost 2%. What that means is that per capita GDP growth is not much north of nil at the moment, and it does explain why businesses are viewing the current economy in quite a different light to households. For businesses, 2% population growth means an easy source of sales growth. For households, however, where there's lots of people sitting in the labour market, and they're finding that their slice of the economic pie is not growing particularly fast. This also helps explain why the Reserve Bank is cutting interest rates at a time of reasonable GDP growth. All these extra people around is creating growth on the supply side of the economy. It's helping to suppress wages and to keep inflation down. Now the other key development this week was a fall in the current account deficit from 3.3% of GDP to 3.1%. That sounds great. It implies that New Zealand is paying away less to the rest of the world. But actually this was just a consequence of reduced profitability of foreign firms that operate in New Zealand and is more an advertisement for the fact that the economy has slowed a bit relative to last year than a uh, sign of strength overall. Talk to you next week.